G'day everyone, so I'm back on the roof of the bus, as you can see uh, because in spite of my best efforts, it continues to leak when it rains, which is not great uh, especially when you wake up in the middle of the night and there's a puddle beside your bed um, so I'm up on the roof today to try and see if I can remedy that situation uh, so first up, I've got to try and remove these panels, the beautiful panels that I've installed about a year ago so I've got to try and remove them, see what's underneath it, see what's going on and then we will use some waterproofing membrane to cover all the cracks and see how see if that fixes it so wish me luck fingers crossed so what I'm gonna do is go along take my trusty little pen here my felt tip pen and I mark and number all these panels so I know exactly where they go uh, then I'll unscrew them take them off and store them so I can get a better look at what I'm working at Alright, so that job's done. Uh, this isn't my main point of focus or main point of concern because it doesn't really leak up the front here. Uh, I'm just doing this as an added extra precaution. A main point of concern is at the back here, and I'll show you what I mean when I get down there. Uh, it mainly leaks up the back. Okay, so here we are at the rear of the bus. This is where our we have our main water leaks, this is where our, our leaks are the main sort of problem, uh, is the rear on the passenger side. As far as I can tell, because the roof is solid aluminium, water shouldn't penetrate, shouldn't be able to penetrate through that. So, my working theory is that it's creeping between the seams. So we've got one sheet like this, one sheet like that. They've been riveted down uh, and they've had a layer of waterproofing between them. So maybe over time that's corroded, maybe it's failed, I don't know. Uh, so what I'm going to do today is power wash the whole thing and then put a, a layer of or another coat of waterproofing membrane over the whole seam itself. Hopefully that'll fix the problem. I don't know if it will, but if that doesn't fix the problem, that means it's leaking from somewhere else uh, and I've just scratched, I've eliminated one possibility. So it's a process of elimination here. I'm just uh, taking off the things that might work or crossing them off, eliminating the things that it might be until eventually I'll solve the problem. So, fingers crossed, this is it. If not, I'll have to keep searching. Okay, I got the roof all gurneyed off. Uh, the roof needs to be completely dry before I apply this waterproofing membrane. So I'm probably going to wait for tomorrow and apply it in the heat of the day when it's nice and dry. So uh, we'll do that. Alright, good morning everyone. It's another beautiful day on the roof of the bus. Another beautiful, sunny, bright, warm day. Uh, roof of the bus is dry now so I can start waterproofing. I've got with me some white waterproofing membrane. Uh, behind me there you can't see it but there's some reinforcing fabric couple of paint brushes that should be all I need so let's get stuck into it eh when I think about the way we used to be when I think about the things it took from me I know that I am so much better better when I look at what I've done now that we are apart when I look at so I'll just give you a quick explainer of what I'm doing so you understand and can follow along at home. Uh, if you've ever done fiberglassing, it's a lot like fiberglassing. So initially, I'm going to put sort of a, a thickish layer of membrane down to start with. I'll just do a little bit while I explain this. That's your waterproofing membrane. That's just to help the reinforcing fabric. Okay. So this we have a reinforcing fabric. Uh, this is to help bridge any gaps you have. So if there's a, a gap or any movement in your in your surface, this will help strengthen the bond of your membrane uh, so it doesn't crack or wear out. So after we've done our first little bit, stick our fabric down, make sure there's overlap there. And covering any rivets as well. All right, then I'll get my paintbrush and just sort of dab it down with more membrane make sure it sticks 
nice as well. Make sure it bridges the gaps and any seams like that. We're pushing it down into the membrane. Right after that, I'll get my roller brush. Wax some more membrane over top of that. See how that's lifting? I need to move that further that way to make sure that gap is covered. I'll get my membrane, paint over that. And that essentially is your first coat done. So after this dries, I'll do a second coat over the top of this nice and thick and that should be waterproofed in theory I'll just fix that a little bit and that'll be good should wear gloves probably I don't have any gloves move that over a fraction straight there up happy days I would be a waiting for you Alrighty, so I've done the first coat of the waterproofing membrane. I've got to wait four hours, I'll do another coat, and then after three days it's supposed to be weatherproof. So fingers crossed that fixes our problem. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do the coat in four hours, then I'll put the solar panels back on, and then that will be the job done. One thing that I did find while doing the job is that I really had to uh, saturate the reinforcing fabric with the membrane just to get it to behave the way it should and I guess to give it the best chance possible of uh, giving it the waterproofing properties that we need. That's it for the video. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you give it a share, give it a subscribe and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers!